What's up? It is I, Brad, coming to you from my house. It is a beautiful November day here in the Hudson Valley-ish area of New York State. And I'm coming to you with my Nearup Classic that I've had, one of the oldest pipes I have in my collection. Um, I haven't bought a pipe in a while. bought one down at Vero Beach. When I was down there, I visited actually the tobacconist that was my grandfather's tobacconist, which is pretty cool. And people have always asked me if I have dedicated pipes. I don't. The only one I have is this guy and my grandfather's pipe, which smokes uh, Indian River Gold, <clears throat> uh, which comes from this particular pipe shop down in Vero Beach. This one only smokes Frog Morton Cellar. Which is what I have in the pipe. So this is a gripe and informative video. And I'm sure a lot of people have um, explained in depth the various... I'm, I'm sure that the topic I'm going to bring up has been explained in depth, but somebody brought up a, a, a question on one of my other videos. So I'm going to attempt to spread the knowledge that I have. And if I'm wrong, hey man, mark, it, mark me out on it. Tell me in the comments. First, um, I open up a vacuum sealed package of crowning achievement from 2015. Did you hear that? It's so dry that if I put a match in there, the thing would blow up. It's like, it, it's like, uh, it's like dead relatives cremation dust. I'm ticked off. Um, I figure vacuum sealing it, I get two years out of it, and I, uh, I haven't been smoking for a while. I own my own sharpening business now, and... I'm just so damn busy, I don't even have time to put a pipe in my mouth. I'm in and out of salons all day long. It's like, if I were to put a pipe in my mouth, I wouldn't get any work done. Hence why I'm doing it on a Saturday. But, nonetheless, yeah, my sharpening business is great. You know, I sharpen everything, just about. Um, one of my big specialties is... Um, uh, hairdressing shears, thinners, um, and remanufacturing them, uh, bringing them back to life. There are a lot of bad sharpeners in the hairdressing world, and um, I'm doing some awesome work getting shears wicked sharp, and they last. The edges I put on them last. It's awesome. But the gripe I have is I'm smoking a tin of Frogmorton Cellar that I bought easily at or about the time that I bought the Lane tobaccos that I vacuum sealed and, jam and, and uh, jarred and they are so dry I've lost probably about four pounds worth of tobacco I am just like oh I'm sunk it's horrible but I think from now on I'm buying jars uh, and tin or I'm buying tins um, they just last longer more expensive but they last longer um, I opened up this this tin thinking oh crap that's gonna be dry perfect I've got tins that are vacuum seal. I've got tins that are the pull away, like the Frog Morton Cellar is, um, or the cans. And I'm just going to start buying them because they last so much longer. Perhaps maybe the way I vacuum sealed it had something to do. If you vacuum sealed tobacco and you get really great results, hit me a comment. I need to know. Um, also, today I've been catching up on a lot of the Dagner stuff, man. Uh, Dagner pipes and. Lord, I I feel neglectful. <laughs> um, there's just so much stuff that was being put out that I've been totally ignoring. I just been so damn busy. Um, I think I need to spend my set, uh, you know, an hour or two every Saturday updating people and getting back in the swing of things. And I'm gonna put it in my calendar now that things are starting to settle down um, until ski season starts, and then I'm back on the hill skiing and doing that thing. Um, But let's get on to the important part of this thing. Um, Burley versus Virginia. 
People talk all the time about how Virginia doesn't give them the same nicotine kick that Burley does, and they think that Burley is a heavier nicotine leaf. No. Most strands of Burley and Virginia have equal quantities of nicotine in the post-process leaf. The difference is sugar content. From what I understand, I could be wrong and I could be getting this backwards. And what Russell Lett had said, granted, like I said, I could be getting it backwards. But... Uh, hold on. I'm one of those pipe finickers, constantly tamping, constantly lighting. Um, I just enjoy that. Um, Virginias have more sugars than Burleys in general. And it's the sugar content of the tobacco leaf that determines the amount of felt recoil in the nicotine in your body. You know, if you smoke like nightcap, and that recoil of just like putting you to sleep, or if you smoke a really heavy, you know, like Magnum, um, it's sugar contents is what mostly it's about. And so um, Virginia and Burley, they have the same quantity of nicotine generally. Uh, it's just the sugar content that inhibits the ingestion and absorption of that nicotine. So something to think about. I'm going to head off so I can finish my pipe and enjoy uh, my beautiful day here. But I uh, hope everybody's well. I hope you're keeping it lit and packing it tight. And uh, yeah, let me know about uh, vacuum sealing because I done screwed up. Talk to you later.